welcome to another episode of Glorious Blue Empowerment Podcast. This week, Monday the 18th to Sunday the 24th, is Mental Health Awareness Week. And as some of you may already know, I have written a book on mental health titled Behind the Veil, The Stigmatization of Mental Health. How did I get into writing a book on mental health. I studied masters in psychology a few years ago and having done that course my interest in mental health picked up and I decided to write a book to remove the stigma those who have mental health issues face. That's where my interest in mental health came from. So do stay tuned as I will be reading some parts of my book throughout this week. Thank you. The stigma of mental illness can be said to be in the same category as racism and sexism, says Patrick W. Coringan, a professor of psychology at the Illinois Institute of Technology. It permeates all of society and affects people at all levels. Over the years, people have learned more about mental illness and the various treatments available. They have concluded that in many cases, therapy can be effective. However, currently, the narrative and tone in some countries is still negative and maybe even getting worse. As individuals with mental health issues are still seen as both a menace to society and seen as unpredictable. Unfortunately, society tends to stigmatize and even some demonize those who are mentally ill and blame the individuals for their behavior and lifestyle. In other words, some people assume that all mental health cases are associated with substance abuse and the consumption of illicit drugs. Hence the thinking goes, those exhibiting such problems should be judged harshly and without compassion. They should be heavily medicated, imprisoned, or otherwise locked up, punished, or simply thrown out of the society without mercy. That's still the mindset of some people. You can see these lost souls on African streets and cities. In fact, substance abuse can and does occur without mental illness and vice versa. These kinds of attitude are now out of date and shouldn't be practiced in any society in this modern day world. We now know that mental health issues have a range of explicable causes, including genetic predispositions, dysfunctional early upbringing, medical conditions, the effects of old age, extreme situational stress, and the list goes on. Therefore, these people should not be demonized in any way. In this book, we will show how education, empathy, compassion, and positive faith can combine with therapeutic interventions by professionals to alleviate many forms of mental illness. So this is mental health awareness week i will be coming up daily to read a few pages from my book as the week goes on so do stay tuned as i'll come your way again tomorrow with a new page or two thank you thanks for listening take care bye as 
mentioned earlier, my interest in mental health developed while I studied my MSc psychology degree. My podcasts are normally released on Sundays weekly. However, this week, Monday the 18th to Sunday the 24th is Mental Health Awareness Week. As a result, I will be reading from my book daily until Mental Health Awareness Week ends. My podcast is about discussing various topics ranging from mental health, freedom, eliminating limiting beliefs. We talk about relationship issues, um, topics on discovering your purpose and fulfilling your dreams, your passions. I also bring in guests to discuss true life stories and we have discussions from experts in their field that will inspire and propel you as well as motivate you as they share their stories. So do stay tuned with me this week daily. After Sunday the 24th, we will be going back to our weekly episodes. Thank you for listening. Take care and God bless. Bye.